You open your laptop, Windows boots up, smooth, shiny, familiar. You think you're safe. You think you're powerful, but here's the truth. No one told you. If you want to become dangerous, if you want to think like a hacker, Windows is your biggest weakness. Hackers don't avoid Windows because it's weak. They avoid it because it's a cage. On Windows, you don't control the system. Microsoft does. Every update, every driver, every patch is locked behind their walls. You can't see the source code, you can't tweak the kernel, you can't bend the machine to your will. Windows isn't built for rebels, Mike. It's built for consumers. And hackers? Hackers don't follow the rules. They break them. That's why they turn to Linux. Not because it's cool, not because it's free, but because Linux is freedom, raw, unfiltered power in its purest form. On Linux, nothing is hidden. Every line of code is open. Every process is yours to control. Hackers don't just use Linux, they become Linux. They strip it down, rebuild it, weaponize it. They customize the kernel, manipulate network stacks, inject packets, launch payloads, and vanish into thin air. Tools like Metasploit, Aircrack NG, Nmap, Hydra, Wireshark, Bettercap, they don't just run on Linux, they were born there. Meanwhile, on Windows, half the tools break, others need messy workarounds, and Windows Defender sits there like an overprotective parent, blocking payloads before they breathe. Running Aircrack on Windows is like trying to jailbreak an iPhone with a toaster. Good luck. But this goes deeper than tools. Hackers live in Linux because Windows spies on you. Microsoft collects telemetry, fingerprints your hardware, tracks your habits. How are you going to hide from the FBI when Windows already knows what snack you're eating at 3 a.m.? Hackers need stealth. They boot live USB that leaves zero traces, spin up virtual machines inside virtual machines, randomize MAC addresses, chain VPN through Tor, and run entire disposable environments that self-destruct on reboot. Windows screams your identity. Linux erases it. That's why hackers love distros like Kali Linux. The Swiss Army knife for penetration testing, Parrot OS for stealth and anonymity, Black Arch with thousands of preloaded exploits and tails, Edward Snowden's go-to system, designed to vanish without leaving a footprint. But here's the twist, and hackers don't completely abandon Windows. They study it, dissect it, exploit it, because corporations, banks, and personal devices still run on it. Windows is the target, Linux is the weapon. Hackers keep Windows locked in a VM like a lab rat, testing malware and payloads before deploying them in the wild. But when it's time to strike, they always go back to Linux, because Linux is built for creators, breakers, and ghosts. Windows holds your hand, Linux hands you the keys to the vault, and this isn't just about tools, it's about mindset. Real hacking isn't clicking pretty apps and waiting for magic to happen, it's control. It's speed, it's bending machines until they obey you. Windows was built to keep you inside the box. Hackers built their own box. And once you taste that freedom, once you realize you own every command, every packet, every exploit, you'll never go back. The truth is simple. Window was made for users. Linux was made for architects. Windows is a polished smartphone. Linux is the nuke factory behind it. One makes you comfortable the other makes you dangerous. And now that you know the truth, the choice isn't about operating systems anymore. It's about deciding which side of the firewall you want to stand on. A hacker's mind doesn't work like yours. Where you see a locked door, they see a challenge. Where you see a rule, they see an exploit. Hackers aren't born different, they're made. Forged in sleepless nights, broken code, failed attempts, and thousands of silent battles with machines that refuse to obey. They live in a world most people can't even imagine. A world of packets, payloads, and permissions. A normal person clicks a link and hopes it works. A hacker clicks it and asks, what happens behind this? They chase curiosity like oxygen, hunting secrets buried deep in systems no one touches. It's not about money. It's not about fame. It's about control. Understanding machines so deeply that they bend to your will. And here's the dark truth. Hackers don't quit. They fail again and again, but every failure teaches them something the average person will never see. While most give up after two broken commands, hackers dig deeper. They know the system is lying. They know the rules can be bent. They know there's always a way in, and if there isn't, they'll make one. 
That's why hackers don't think like users. They think like architects. They see vulnerabilities where others see walls. They weaponize patience, persistence, and precision. And the scariest part? They aren't limited by tools, platforms, or operating systems. Whether it's Linux, Windows, or something custom-built, hackers treat every machine like clay, molding it into whatever they need it to be. The hacker mindset isn't about breaking systems. It's about understanding them so deeply that breaking them becomes inevitable. That's the difference between playing the game and rewriting the game itself. Hackers aren't born. They're built. If you want to think like one, stay curious, stay relentless, and never stop learning. More secrets, more hacks, more dark truths are coming. So hit subscribe, like, and join me on the other side of the firewall. See you in the next one.